everyone, welcome back to my video blog. I'm Melinda Elmer and I'm with Keller Williams and I'm here today to share a few things that you want to make sure you avoid doing while purchasing a home and getting a loan. So there's a couple of things that could really cost you the home that you love, that you want to buy, uh, that we want to make sure you avoid doing. So the first thing is, make sure you don't take any days off work or work any short days. The lenders are looking at your income and when you change the information, it may cause a problem at the last minute, which we want to avoid. Also, don't change jobs. You may think, okay, well, I'm just moving to it from one job to another. It's the same thing. It's more pay. That might be better. Be very careful about that. And if you are thinking about changing jobs while in escrow with a home, talk to your lender first and make absolutely sure that that's okay. Third, this would, may seem obvious, but don't quit your job. Some people quit their job in the heat of a passion or, you know, if it's just something changes and it's not the right thing. If this is going to happen, be sure to talk to your lender and your agent and make sure this is uh, not going to cause problems. Not having income is definitely going to cause problems with your qualifying for your loan. Make sure you don't deposit any cash into your bank accounts. People think, well, you know, my friend owed me $10,000. I'm going to deposit that money into my account to make it look better. That can actually cause some real problems and they can't use that money. So don't deposit cash into your bank account. Don't deposit any checks other than your payroll checks into the bank. If you can avoid doing that, it saves you a lot of hassle with paper trails and things like that. Any money that goes into your account that's not payroll needs to be sourced. So if you can avoid it, make sure you don't deposit any checks into the bank. Don't deposit or transfer any money from your gift donors account. So if you're getting some gift, a gift money from your friends, family members, things like that, don't deposit it into your account. They can actually transfer it directly from their account to the escrow account, which is a much cleaner thing, a lot less paper trails required. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a lot more steps to that. Don't make any large purchases. If you go out and buy that new car, you buy that new fridge, washer and dryer for your new house, it can cause some real problems with your purchase, throw off your debt ratios, especially if you're really close, and not allow you to buy that house that you just bought that new washer and dryer for. Don't use your credit cards unless absolutely necessary. If you use your credit cards, again, it can change your ratios, change your information. So make sure you talk with your lender before making any purchases or using your credit cards. Don't open or close any credit cards. You may have had a credit card for 20 years that you've never used and you thought, well, I'm going to close this account. Again, it can cause some problems and throw off your credit, change your credit score, which is something we don't want to do. Don't make any changes while you're in escrow with the property. Don't delay on getting all the requested documentation. I know we all get busy, things happen, uh, you get busy with work. Make sure you get those documents in right away. It'll help avoid any delays at closing, which can definitely be costly. One of the other important things is don't get frustrated. All borrowers have a lot of hoops to jump through right now, and it's kind of just the way it is. It's sometimes it feels like you're sending them the same papers over and over again, um, maybe sometimes even you are. Sometimes things happen in the scans, faxes, emails. So just be patient and know that everybody's working towards the same means of getting you your new home. And did I say before, don't deposit any cash into your bank accounts. This is a very common thing that comes up that can cause a lot of problems and can cause people to scramble at the last second if you have to do this. So again, don't deposit any cash into your bank accounts. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this or any other real estate related matters, call me at 562-316-2915 or email me at melinda.elmer at gmail.com. And if you have any referrals, friends, family, uh, neighbors who are thinking about buying or selling a home, call me immediately. Thanks so much for watching.